All right, today I'm gonna to be making some Hawaiian style chicken. I got these drumsticks on sale, 474 for all this. I'm probably gonna use about half of these, freeze the other half and keep them for later. So I'm gonna use half of these right now for this Hawaiian style chicken. Now normally you use chicken thighs, but I'm gonna try on some drumsticks and see how well it turns out. Basically all you need is a can of pineapple, um, some garlic, some ginger, I already had dried ginger, but it would be the same thing. Soy sauce, and then half a cup of brown sugar mixed in with the whole entire mix. Super easy, super simple, and let's get started on this. All right, so we got our chicken in the bowl. We're just gonna do our garlic. Looked a little thicker in chunks, but it's just gonna be a marinade, so that will be okay. Let's get all that garlic in there. Go. All right, next, some pineapple chunks. Do the whole can into there. So this is gonna be great for the marinade. Next, we got roughly about half a cup of brown sugar. Um, doesn't really matter if you go more or less. It's just about half. All right. Soy sauce. We're gonna put some more in here. This is just one that was left over. All right. And then lastly, a good chunk of ginger. All right. Now we're gonna add just a little bit of water to this just to get this all mixed in. And we're gonna let it sit for about five to six hours before we start cooking this on the pellet grill. All right, got in the bowl. Just add enough water just to cover how high the chicken was. So it's just over the chicken. And now I'm just kind of shaking around, getting everything to mix in. And then we're gonna actually let this sit in the fridge for the next five to six hours. So what happened in my last video is that these pellets, these brand of pellets keep getting stuck in the auger. So I'm gonna drain all these out. These are just gonna to go to the wood stove and I am going to get some new pellets, most likely named brand too, to make sure this being jammed does not happen again. Right down there, you can see our problem. Those, the th group of three right there, and the back group and the front group, those are all jammed stuck in there. And that's why the auger's not turning. Two soft pellets are not crumbling when they're getting uh, crushed like that. They're just kind of smearing because they're too wet and too moist and too gummy almost. So, let's get these uncleared. Get it back in operation. So every time we get a chance, we just come over here, kind of swirl it back and forth, shake it so the bonchin comes up and it swirls all the sauce around the marinade. It's been in there for about six hours now. Um, we're about to put it on the grill, probably in the next hour here or so. And we'll get right to that. Got some new pellets in there. And we're getting started up. New pellets in. That's on uh, 180 on P1. This is in up right at 150. That's good smoke out there. All right. After smoking it for an hour, it's been about 30, 37 minutes. And we're working with right here. Look at that. 
Got about 15 more minutes and I'll flip him again, get that skin crest back. Uh, we are sitting where that, this will bounce back up to 300. Yeah, check in a couple. Just like that, these are done. Look at that. Those look fantastic. Basically, smoked them for one hour at 150 and then the last hour at 350. Wait till they got up to about 170 in temperature and internal and pull them off and look how good those look. Time to dig in.